Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Daniela Blanco, and I am the co-founder of Synthetix, where we are electrifying the chemical industry through artificial intelligence. And why do we focus on this? Well, if we look around us, in 2019, pretty much everything we see is made by the chemical industry, an industry that makes everything we love, but that at the same time is responsible for over 30% of the energy demand. Now, the real problem comes when we realize that the chemical industry gets its energy from heat, which comes from burning large amounts of fossil fuels and releases tons and tons of CO2. But what we want to do is electrify the chemical industry. That means using electricity instead of heat to power chemical reactions, making these processes more efficient, safer, and sustainable as we can get the electricity directly from renewable energy sources. And if these processes offer so many advantages, then why hasn't the chemical industry been electrified yet? Well, because implementing new processes actually requires lots of time, money, and energy. And why? Because their optimization relies on trial and error. What does that mean? That means that if we have a process that is affected by 10 variables, for example, we have over 10 billion combinations of these variables that we can test. That would cost us at least $500 billion and over 100,000 years. All of that to find the one optimal operation point that gives us the best performance. And if that is what it takes to transform the chemical industry, then who wants to do it? But what if I told you that with artificial intelligence, we can actually reduce the number of experiments we have to do by over a million times? leaving us only with a few data points that we can feed into an artificial neural network to predict in a matter of seconds all the combinations and that one optimal operation point. And for this very few data points, we would only need about half a million dollars in 40 days. This is not just doable, but it shows us that artificial intelligence is exactly what we need if we want to save energy, time, and money from the reduced number of experiments. It is a versatile approach that we can implement in an endless number of chemical reactions. It can help us reach unprecedented efficiencies in chemical processes, because we would target points that we wouldn't be testing following only human intuition. And finally, it is the key to build a sustainable chemical industry that runs with renewable energy sources. This is exactly what Synthetics has been doing. Focusing on Nylon 66, we have combined artificial intelligence with chemical engineering to build reactors for the production of nylon intermediates with 30% less raw material, 30% less energy, and 30% less emissions. For this, we have raised $400,000 to scale up our process and grow a team committed to change the chemical industry one reaction at a time. Thank you. OK, so <laughs> thanks a lot for, for this inspiring approach. But um, your project seemed quite um, early stage for the moment. So I would like to know more about your roadmap in the next six months, for, for instance. I'm sorry, I couldn't fully understand. You want to know more about the map? The roadmap for the next six months. Six okay. months. Um, so synthetics right now, as we are combining the chemical engineering side with artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. we're right now in the scale-up phase of our, of our technology. Mm -hmm. We started with a reactor that was, a, that was about this size. Right now, we have one that is the size of a soccer ball. And in the next six months, we'll build one that is closer to the size of a suitcase. With that, we'll be able to prove our technology at scale. And at the same time, we have the R&D focus on developing artificial intelligence tools to be able to predict optimal performance in a variety of chemical reactions, so that at some point we can combine the two, both the reactors that we have developed with the platform to fully optimize them in an accelerated way. Uh, kind of related to that, what is your plan um, in getting really important stakeholders involved? Because obviously there's a lot of players in this game that you need to consider. Um, what is your plan moving forward with that? So it is actually really interesting because in the chemical industry, yes, there are a lot of plays in many different chemical reactions. But there is actually a gap between what is the chemical industry and the artificial intelligence field. I am a chemical engineer, and I had not one single class that had to do with artificial intelligence, not on my bachelor's, my master's, or my PhD. 
So we are not fully aware of what these tools can do. And that is exactly what at Synthetics we want to push. We want to push this vision of how we need to connect the different fields. What we do in chemical industry cannot be separated from the tools that are available and that are incredibly powerful from artificial intelligence. So even if there are many players in the chemical industry, we're definitely one of the first to be combining the two. And more than that, we are one of the few who have the vision to electrify the chemical industry, which is not just the way to improve the efficiency and the safety of these chemical processes, but it's also the only way to transform the chemical industry into something sustainable. Beautiful. I love your presentation. Really well done. Congratulations. Great how you combine these things. That's amazing. I have just two quick questions. Where do you get your talent from? number one, and how do you collaborate with the chemical industry today? OK. Um, for the talent, you mean like the personnel that we have that hired? For you, yeah. OK, so right now, we, we have been having the company for a year, and we right now have four employees. We're all chemical engineers because we started um, building the chemical reactors to make sure that this technology would have an entry point into, into the chemical industry. And then we have a senior undergraduate student. We have a graduated chemical engineer, a postdoc, and my co-founder, Miriam, who's sitting right here. She's also a graduated chemical engineer. All of them are working full-time uh, for the company, except for the senior undergrad, and they're working on the technology scale-up. I oversee that, and also as part of my PhD, I continue the R&D for the process. Um, we are, however, looking into the, the fact that with the new grants that we're applying right now, all of our funding has been from competitions and non-diluted grants. So with the funding that we're applying right now from the US, we will be looking into hiring people more on the computer science field to be able to push with us the artificial intelligence that I'm developing as part of the PhD. All right. Great. Time's up, I guess. But that's okay. fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.